Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to use the if function in Excel. And for if function we have prepared three different examples. So let's start with the first one. Okay, in this table we have random student names, their exam results and we want to find if a student has passed this exam. So the passing result is minimum 70 and, and we it asks us to write yes. If student has passed and no if student could not manage to pass so think uh, suppose you are a teacher you have hundreds of students like this a long list and you have their exam results what you can do is to filter out the results and uh, find out find out the students who has passed but we will use a function here which is very useful in most of the cases so if I write a if function here, my first logical test is if the student has passed the exam. So if this result is greater than 70, I want it to write yes. Notice that I am putting the yes in quotation marks because I want this to be a text. And if this logical test is not correct, let's say if this result is not higher than 70 we want it to write no this is the basic if function in Excel so I just copy and paste it and I have the yes and no of these students okay in the second example this asks us to find which brand is more expensive for each product Okay, we have the products here and we have these product brands and their prices. So we are going to compare these prices for each product. How can we do it in Excel? So let's write our if function. If this price is bigger than this price, we know that this is more expensive. So let's make our logical test. This price is bigger than this price and value if true is our expensive brand is this one and if not correct if this price is not uh, bigger than this price then our expensive brand is this brand so this is our if function for each product and just copy and paste it like formulas in order not to um, dis distract my uh, formatting and you see the Samsung is expensive here or LG and sharp comparison LG is expensive here and for example this one has been checked by if function and as you see this price is higher than this price so it takes the second parameter in this function which is F22 and which is Samsung so we find the expensive brand like this. So in the third example, we are going to make a um, multiplication or sum operation in mathematics. So according to the operation info in this column, we are going to multiply these numbers or sum these numbers. So how should we write this in a if function? I'm going to say that if this cell is equal to multiply I am putting it in the text then just multiply this two numbers if this is not correct then just sum these numbers because I know that if it is not multiply it is sum um, if we had more operations like subtracting and dividing here, then we would have to write, we would have to write nested keys. But we are going to see those kind of cases in the later videos. So this is the multiplication, and we just multiply these numbers. I am copying and pasting the formulas, and you see for the sum, we just sum it up. For the multiply, we just multiply. Okay, let's submit our answer and check if it's correct. Okay, good job. Thanks for watching and in the next video we are going to learn how to use the count function in Excel.
Keep following.